coffee during intermittent fasting? Yes, please. But what if you suddenly start having painful heartburn after drinking it on an empty stomach? There's a reason for that, and we're going to give you seven tips on how to avoid heartburn without cutting out your coffee for good. Black sugarless coffee is a popular beverage among intermittent fasting fans since it can be consumed without breaking the fast. Why doesn't it break your fast? Because a cup of black coffee contains only three to five calories, and that's not enough to cause your body to leave the fasting state. But you can't put anything in your coffee. It has to be black, no sugar or cream. Countless people say that coffee helps them maintain their fast and keep their energy levels up during the day. However, we often hear them say, I can't drink coffee because it gives me heartburn. Yes, heartburn or acid reflux is a serious problem that many of you may be experiencing after drinking a cup of joe, especially on an empty stomach. But why does coffee cause heartburn? There are two main factors high caffeine volume and the bean's natural acidity. Sometimes both of these factors cause your reflux. Sometimes it's only one or the other. Coffee jumpstarts the stomach's production of acid, and if you haven't already eaten something, the acid could damage your stomach's lining and cause heartburn. Of course, some people have consumed coffee on an empty stomach for years and felt completely fine. If that applies to you and it helps you maintain your fast, by all means, enjoy it. But if you're the one who can't give up on coffee during fasting, then we have some beneficial tips on how to avoid heartburn. Remember, you'll probably have to experiment in order to figure out which tip works best for you. So, let's get started! Tip number one. Try switching to low-acid coffee. Although coffee with a higher acidity is more flavorsome, acidity can be a real issue if you're struggling with heartburn. Whether or not the coffee is labeled low acid, you can look at several factors to help select coffee. Make sure to get a 100% Arabica coffee. These have less acid than Robusta beans. Also, look for beans that are grown at lower altitudes. Coffees from Sumatra, Brazil, and several Central American countries are all low in acid while coffee grown in high elevation and volcanic areas such as Guatemala, Peru, and Ethiopia are more acidic. Tip number two, try dark roast coffee. Darker roasts generally have lower acidity than lighter roasts. Why? Because the longer roasting process burns off most of the acid in the beans. Various studies show that dark roast coffee contains a balance of chemicals that produce less stomach acids that cause heartburn. Tip number three, try cold brew coffee. It's lower in acidity and has a smoother taste. Don't confuse cold brew with iced coffee. Even though both are served cold, they're actually made in entirely different ways. Just in case you're new to the concept, cold brew coffee is made by steeping coarsely ground coffee beans in room temperature water for 12 to 24 hours. This creates a coffee concentrate that you mix with cold water. Tip number four, limit your coffee intake. It's about cutting down and paying attention to portion sizes. A cup of coffee contains 80 to 100 milligrams of caffeine. Consuming less than 400 milligrams of caffeine a day, which is around four cups of coffee, is entirely safe for most people. But if you have heartburn, you can't guzzle coffee all day long. You can drink a glass of plain or sparkling water first thing, then have a black coffee. Tip number five, put eggshells in your coffee. Seriously. We know it may sound a bit odd, but eggshells are alkaline and they neutralize the acid in coffee beans. Using eggshells while brewing your coffee will also reduce the bitter taste. So, how to make it? Prepare your coffee machine or pot just as you usually would. Take one or two well-rinsed eggshells and crush them with your hands. Once the eggshells are properly crushed, add them to the coffee grounds. If you're using a coffee machine, simply place them in the container where the roast goes. Then brew your coffee as normal. That's it! Tip number six, add baking soda to your coffee. You can try adding a quarter teaspoon of baking soda to the cup of coffee. It's really effective at neutralizing acid levels and it doesn't change the taste. Tip number seven, try switching to shade-grown coffee. When coffee grows in direct sunlight, it develops higher levels of acidity. In comparison, shade-grown coffee takes longer to grow and develops less acidity. Always look for coffee that is labeled as shade-grown and enjoy a smooth cup of coffee without heartburn. Watch another video on how to read food labels without being tricked. Also, check out the video where we talk about the amazing benefits of apple cider vinegar.